everyone! I recently did a video overviewing my MFA program and kind of going through all the nuts and bolts. And then I wanted to do this writing vlog where I take you through the process of my first packet. So for each semester you have five packets that you turn in. Mine are about six weeks apart because I'm doing the summer semester. So you'll see from start to finish how I come up with my packet. And it all starts with writing. So here we go. The first thing that I'm working on is my cumulative bibliography. I need to add any of the books that I've read since February, which was the last time I turned it in, add all those books in to have it up to date. Then I'm working on my synopsis. My creative thesis was chapters one through nine, and I'm starting with chapter 10, but my mentor hasn't read chapters one through nine. So I'm writing a synopsis of those chapters. I already have it written basically down in my bullet journal. So I'm transferring what I've written there onto the computer and then finalizing what I need to. So those are my first two tasks of my first packet. Then I can add in my creative writing and see where I am page wise because I have a limit of 50 pages. These are all the books that I've read over the past four years. So I've gone through and written up my synopsis of each chapter that I have written so far. Basically what I've done is I just went through each scene and summarized what was going on without giving too much detail. I managed to accomplish updating my cumulative bibliography. So that is all updated, ready to go. And I've typed up my synopsis of each chapter of my work in progress the first nine chapters would represent act one. I'm gonna need to go back through the synopsis and just make sure it all makes sense and get rid of details I don't need. And I may break it down scene by scene as well for my mentor to see that. Then I can see how many pages I have to see how many pages I need and then go from there. Yeah. A friend and I are doing a little writing session, um, so we have an hour to get as much work as we can get done. I am working on editing chapter 10, so we'll see, I'm on, I guess I'm on page, uh, I have some things to work out, so we'll see how far I get. So I says to him, this is me live with it, and do you ever stop talking, Stevie asked. The more I talk, the less trouble I get sent. For each packet that I send, I create a cumulative list of what is in each packet. I always have to do a cover letter and just kind of say what's going on in the piece, what I struggled with, what's working. And then for this first one, I was asked to create a synopsis since The Clockmaker's Daughter, chapters one through nine, is the creative thesis that I worked on last semester. And she hasn't read any of my writing, so she needs kind of a summary to get her up to speed. Then I have chapters 10 through 14 of The Clockmaker's Daughter, what I'm turning in now, and then two picture books. First packet is done. I wanted to give you an idea of what my feedback looks like. So the first thing I get is a letter that talks about each of the different things that I have submitted and kind of, you know, what was working, what wasn't working, and any kind of answers to questions that I asked in my cover letter. So I've gone through this and as you can see, I've highlighted um, pieces of information that stand out to me in the letters, the things that I need to be looking for in my work, questions I need to answer, things I need to include, and then I break it up as uh, you can see, I've breaking it up different paragraphs 
just so I know if one idea is running into another or if each paragraph is its own kind of idea. This is the first thing I get is the letter. Then I get my feedback and this mentor does it through Microsoft Word track changes. So you can go through and you can see that there's different comments. I put in each of the comments and then highlight that section so I know that that's what I need to work on. So the goal is then to go through each document and get rid of all the highlights. Some of the comments are really easy. It's like, you know, oh, you misspelled this word or do you mean this instead? And those are quick fixes. Some of the other comments take a little bit longer to actually work with. So that's why I like to put all the comments on through each of the documents and then go back and kind of work through them. My mentor sent me my feedback. I read through the letter that basically goes over everything and then I still have yet to look at the comments on the actual manuscript, so the actual pages. So that is my plan today. I'm at Starbucks. There is a huge line for the drive through It's gonna be busy. I'm hoping I'll be able to find a seat. The past three days, there have been major wildfires throughout Oregon. I mean, the whole West Coast is on fire right now. Really bad air quality. It's still in the hazardous zone. It's gone down a little bit from yesterday, but I'm so glad I have a mask. So now I can try and protect from the smoke as well, just going in and out. I mean, you can smell the smoke in the house. It's really bad. I have friends who are in evacuation zones and it's not far from us. Because all the wildfires and all the evacuation notices, I've been really on edge this week. I just need to kind of get away from my phone and get away from Facebook and FEMA and all the news stuff so I can stop looking at it as obsessively as I have been. So that's why I decided to come to Starbucks today and we will see how it goes. I just finished my writing session at Starbucks. It went pretty well. I worked through my picture book. I have that ready to query and I have a basic query letter written. I need to do some research into agents and then incorporate that into the query letter before I send it off. I'm happy about that progress. For my main work in progress, it's a little bit different. I worked through all the comments and added that to each of the different documents because each I have each chapter as its own document, which I thought would be really great until then you have to go through feedback and then you have to go through each and every document. Sky is still looking really gloomy. It's gotten, I almost feel like, worse since I've been here. Normally the lighting at Starbucks is perfect. It's lower, but they have lots of big windows, so lots of sunlight comes in and it makes for a really nice atmosphere. Today with the clouds being all smoky, it really made it harder to work just because it got darker and darker and darker. So that is the process of a MFA packet. I write the 50 pages, send it off, get the feedback, and then look at that feedback. Let me know in the comments down below what your process is when you start to revise a piece. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next page.